Good evening and welcome to another video by Rideshare UK, the channel that dedicates itself for other fellow Uber drivers. Um, the channel that highlights the struggle of being an Uber driver. So you could look at this channel as a survival toolkit for being an Uber driver. Right, let's get down to today's topic. Now, I mentioned before how Uber have been heavy handed with drivers with high cancellation rate. Now, what we're going to discuss is they've gone a step further to this. Now, they are targeting drivers with high acceptance rate. Now, I've said this before, and Uber have said this as well, that having a high acceptance rating doesn't affect your chances of being on the platform. Basically, they're not going to kick you mm -hmm. off the platform if you had a high acceptance rate. Now, what they've done recently, they are changing the rules. And now, previously, if you, had, if you didn't accept uh, three jobs on a row, a screen is to come up saying, basically, do you want to log off or do you want to remain online? And you just basically pressed online and you're back up and running. Now, over the last week or so, they've changed the actual structure here. Now, after refusing three jobs, from now on, you will be logged off. Now, the screen you're confronted with is the actual screen that is when you actually log on to the system. So if you uh, install the Uber app as a driver, you know, you need to put down your email address and your password. Now, when you've got a password or, a, you know, a password that's really uh, complicated. So if you've got something like I love donuts um, or, you know, Uber for you 1982. <laughs> now, putting all that in can be quite dangerous if you are driving and trying to put the whole thing in. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that, you know, you should do that. But what I'm saying is Uber has made this a lot more dangerous for its drivers. Now, I don't know what these guys in uh, product designs do all day, but they just can't put themselves as being an Uber driver. You know, when you log someone off like that, you could be on a motorway, do a carriageway, and you're trying to put all that information on. You know, this is highly dangerous. They really made the right, wrong choice here. Now, this is obviously, if you uh, looked around all the billboards for the last month or so, they've been highlighting how safe the Uber drivers are. You know something? That is all wrong. And this is another reason why Uber drivers are more dangerous on the roads. And it's not because of themselves. It's because of what Uber has put in system. So the question remains, and you're probably saying, Abdul, what do we do now? You know, can we gain a slight advantage over what Uber has done to us right now? And the answer, to answer that, I gotta say, you are very limited to what you can do. Now, I will tell you what I've done. And obviously I'm not advocating that you should do that same thing. I've actually changed my password. Now, obviously there's two sections you have to fill in. Uh, the first one is the email section. Now, your mobile phone will auto recognize that straight away that you need an email and that normally comes up automatically you press that and the password i've changed to obviously i can't mention what it is but i'll tell you one thing i don't even have to look at the screen when i'm tapping my password in so in return what that does is puts me back onto the system in quick time not fast as before and gets me back online Hence, I could get a job quicker. Now, you know, this is this is something Uber has decided to do indirectly, sort of punishing uh, us drivers for refusing work. Um, and we, we don't actually refuse work if it's close to us. You know, this is affecting me a lot because I basically don't run for any jobs that are more or less a mile away. So, you know, I need to be back online quick as I can and this is the only way I thought of that puts me back on straight away okay guys I'll finish this video up and you know you're probably wondering you know god you're a genius 
<laughs> well, when's the next video coming? And I'll tell you, not very far. I'll catch you guys later anyway. Bye now.